Now, here on Made in Leeds, the Bucket List team prides itself on its local knowledge, knowing where the hot new bars and restaurants are, who's playing at the arena or at the O2 Academy, what's happening that you need to go and see. But if you're new to the city and still trying to find your way around this great big teeming metropolis, who are you going to call? Fortunately, there's a brand new team in town that are here to help you. The Welcome People is a brand new team of city ambassadors about to embark on the streets of Leeds in an initiative spearheaded by the Leeds Business Improvement District. Well, the Leeds Business Improvement District is one of over 220 business improvement districts in the UK. They're funded by the businesses and they're run for the businesses. And one of our projects is obviously the ambassadors that you see here today behind us, which is all about giving Leeds a warm welcome. Leeds is a very warm and welcoming city and we've put these ambassadors on the street, almost like human signposts, to direct people around the city and to make sure the experience of Leeds is a good one. In their smart attire, they're an interesting bunch of all ages, shapes and sizes. I uh, moved to Leeds uh, six years ago, uh, married my amazing wife, uh, adopted the city. Uh, I was amazed at just how very vibrant this is in the daytime and at night time. So it's just a wonderful city to come and do. Her main role is to welcome people, so visitors um, and just help anybody that's around and then be the eyes and the ears for the, for the city centre. So helping the police, um, security for shops, and yeah, just being the eyes and ears reporting any, anything that needs. With any new thing, it's, it's going to be a bad for the time being, but whilst the Leeds City Ambassadors we're here to stay, we're here to enhance your visit, make everything happier. It's, it's going to be, uh, people are going to be happier to approach someone in a bowler hat and a, and a and smart dress as opposed to a, a uniform with an anti-stab vest. So why hasn't Leeds had its own bid before now? The Business Improvement District started in 2003. They came from Canada and in the UK, as I said, there's 220. Why haven't we had one before? I, I guess uh, there's now the appetite within the city because of all the de development. Businesses are working together and we want to see improvements. We want to see changes in the city centre to address things which weren't happening before. So what the bid does, it creates a fighting fund, it creates a pot of money, which is over £2 million a year, to enable things to happen that aren't statutory responsibilities of the local authorities, but the needs of the business and the local authority working together to make things happen. You see, I think the way to make Leeds a global powerhouse as a city is just to get everybody to wear a bowler hat at work. It's paid for by businesses and, and we did the, the consultation back in 2015 and one of the things that came out very strongly was to make sure that we enhance our welcome as a city, particularly as our retail offer is improving with a 250,000 square foot John Lewis opening just over my left shoulder. We need to make sure that the, the, the experience of the city is a good one and people want to return and come here and, and, and visit again. There are teams like the Welcome People all across the country, but the Leeds team will be part of the largest single ambassador squad in the UK. There are 18 leading bids across the UK that have it, and I guess it goes back again to our business plan, and then there's a concept to say, could we do this in Leeds, but we don't want to just copy what other cities are doing. How do we give it a Leeds twist? And we've given it a Leeds twist, and lots of people have been involved in the training of these individuals behind me. We want to make sure that they give a first-class welcome, they have first-class knowledge, they don't point, but they show people where to go uh, and they're a reference point in the city. You know, people can go to them for all sorts of stuff and they will know what's going and what's happening. They've all come from locally. We've recruited locally and this is, this is very important. We wanted to make sure that they were recruited locally, that they had a local knowledge and uh, we've put them out there. So, so all different backgrounds of individuals and where they've come from, previous jobs, very interesting characters I'm sure you're going to interview later. But uh, yeah, a real mix, mix of demographic, male and female, really, really important that we have a diverse set of ambassadors on our streets. So who exactly are the members of this new A-team? I'm from Cambridge originally. Um, I came up to Leeds to study at university, graphic design for three years. Um, that I've been working with the council as a youth support worker for the past two years since I graduated. So what is it that's made these people want to join up? Uh, first of all, the hat. 
<laughs> um, and just being able to help people. In my previous role as a youth support worker, um, our job was about helping vulnerable young people in the city centre, so it's just a chance to help everybody, visitors, uh, the community. They're spending this week training hard before they're let loose on the city streets. We've got uh, two works of training that we've been given. It's very intensive, a lot to do with uh, the information we'll be uh, using and, and how we've been from all the way from conflict resolution to management and such. But how do they train up for the job? Customer service, um, how to be the nicest, most polite person in the world. <laughs> um, but I think we're, we're a good team, so we're, we're all very nice people already. We're all, that's what they chose us. We've, we've clicked so well. It's like they knew that we were all we're like a family already. It, it feels like a family already. We have got an amazing diverse group of individuals. The very, very first day I saw them, I thought, wow, how are we going to be able to manage this? But we've gelled. We've gelled from, from the week one, and all of us are committed to making this work and making this one of the best towns. We're the third biggest, biggest city in England, and we're going to make it one of the best, you know, if not the best. So where exactly will you find these smart-suited, bowler-hatted Leodensian Avengers? They're going to be across the whole of the city. Obviously key welcome points where, where people expect to get help as, when they arrive in the city. Ultimately, uh, they'll be based at the road here, so they'll have an, an office here just behind me, uh, so they'll see them all, all across the cities. And I think what's important as well is that businesses will be able to use the ambassadors for themselves. So if they've got an event on and they say, oh, well, can we have some ambassadors to help guide our people from the station to our event and so on, that's what these ambassadors are there for. They're, they're for the businesses, they'll be for, for the use by the businesses so the business can engage and use them. Well, there's only one way to test this team and put them through their paces. I had to meet one of them myself and challenge them on their Leeds knowledge. Jamie, how are you? Hello, hello. What, what a remarkable, suits? thank you very much, what a remarkable suit you're wearing. I saw you, you stood out a mile away. I could tell right away this is the man who's going to tell me about what I need to know around Leeds. Tell me, you're one of the welcome people, what, what, what's your job? Right, well, we just welcome the visitors to Leeds. We are Leeds for Ambassadors. We're here to point the visitors in the uh, directions where they need to go. So, for example, if they need to go to mm, a restaurant, you know, they might have a certain taste. So, uh, you know, we'll be able to, you know, guide them in our general direction. Say, for example, if they wanted to go to the nearest restaurant, I could pull out this, uh, my phone, uh, so it can direct us to the nearest places so for example we have Wagamama uh, which is close by or we've got the giraffe restaurant it depends on the taste so uh, we've got a variety of knowledge at our hands ready and hopefully we can find them the right way. It's absolutely wonderful you're exactly what people need when they come into this city let's say Jamie that you've never met me before then let's say that We've never spoken before, you don't know who I am. I'm new to this town, I've just got off the train, I've just come around here and I'm looking around trying to figure out where to go, what to do in Leeds. I'm hungry, I'm really, really hungry, absolutely famished. Where should I go? Well, as I say, we've, uh, we can provide a variety of information uh, depending on your taste. Like, say for example, yourself, what, what would you like? I could really go for a Mexican right now. Mexican a Mexican. Food. Right, well, I mean, there's a great choice of restaurants in the Trinity Centre. Uh, the, I believe there is a Mexican restaurant there. So I would uh, hope to point you in that general Trinity Centre it is. Where is the Trinity Centre then? Where is Trinity? Trinity is just here. Oh, just that to, great big thing. Just wow. To the, just to the right there. And uh, it's a big shopping mall. Oh, wow. It looks amazing. But you know what? I'm, I don't think I'm wealthy enough to spend in a place like that. Or at least if I am, I should probably go and check my bank balance. Where's the nearest bank? Where can I get some cash? Well, the nearest bank is uh, Virgin Money, just there. Splendid. Jamie, you've got all the knowledge at your fingertips then. What is it like taking on this big responsibility of being an ambassador for Leeds? Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. We get to meet some of the best people and we welcome uh, visitors to Leeds every day. We make them feel as welcome as possible. It's a great prize to have. And you've got a lot of training on this week before you go out on the streets full time. What does the training involve? Absolutely. We need to be top notch on our knowledge. Uh, we need to know where everything is so we can make sure we get the correct knowledge to the customers first time. Great stuff. Well, you know what? I'm going to come. I might come out in the next couple of weeks. I might come out undercover. I'm going to like put a hat on so you're not going to see who I am. I'm going to test you, all right? So just be warned, I'm going to test you. Yeah. In a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to see how good the training has been. Jamie, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All the best. I wish you very well on the streets of Leeds. Good thank to meet you, you as well. Ah, right. oh, what a gentleman. And doesn't he wear that bowler hat well? You'll be seeing Jamie and all the welcome people across the city centre very soon.